What up, though? What it do? What it be like? Frank Nitty in the city where a brother get gritty. Don't take no pity. What up, though? What it do? What it be like? Frank Nitty. I just wanted to come to y'all from the D City. Huh? With this let with this red light district. Past interviews. We know about a few, because we know about Sarah's. That's one that T-Boy uploaded and try to remind her of. But I go back and kick and, and watch a few um, flicks because I never watched this. So I'll go back and watch a few flicks and I find out a little something more interesting. So let's check one or two out. Shall we? Tell me your name, please. PJ. Okay, nice to meet you, PJ. Um, quick little interview here. Could you tell me how you got started in this business? Uh, I guess you could say I was born into it. My mother, Melissa Streets, was an IE drug user, whatnot, you know, so. As hard as I try to stay away, here I am. Did you re heard that story before? There goes Sarah. I done seen this female on Verna. I wonder if she's still leaving motherfucking uh, with us. But I know I seen her like a year or two she was. She didn't look this chunky no more. Now I believe, remember this is like eight years ago y'all. It's like eight years ago, all these interviews. And none of these females but Sarah and maybe one other used their real name. Now who that? Who that? Is that eight years ago Becky? Which now on Red District Her name is Sexual, oh, it's Amy, Sexual Slave. I don't see no Becky. I told you y'all Becky can be used for any motherfucking female. Just not motherfucking her. And it's just not for T-Boy. It's for any female. Ain't none of them females kicking out their real name. And if you don't know that, man, you motherfucking needs to motherfucking grow up and smell something stronger than your armpits. Let's see what the fuck she's talking about. Three, two, one, interview, take one. So what got you started in the industry? Drugs. Money. So how old were you when you started? 28. Yeah. What was it like for that first time when you made the decision to do what you do now? It was good, believe it or not. Yeah? Yeah. So? I make good money. Yeah. Very good. So you're happy about the money now? The money's good. Yeah. What don't you want? The risk. Yeah. And the hours. The hours are hard. Days in a row. would be getting robbed and close to death, my teeth knocked out, um, like so close, inches within my death. It's a myth around here. There's no pimps. We're all independent. Yeah. So, uh, would 
you get out of this industry if you could? If I could and make the money I make and do whatever I want like I do now. <laughs> yeah, I probably would, but that's not gonna happen. So. If you could be anything you wanted to be, what would you be? 